Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, now that I have the super boots, I can find some more star pieces in other areas. Let's start with over here, right in front of the gallows. You get a star piece. Now let's head over to the harbor. I can probably give Lumpy some more money as well. Because God knows he could use it. Yes, I come again. Here, I'll lend you some more money. I better not regret it. But in any case, now that we got some money, hopefully I won't be needing that much more money anytime soon. Oh, look, we got another star piece. It was over here, in front of the steps. Okay, where's one more place I can look? I think I can look over at, you know, behind Zesty's house in the back alley. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that off footage I did buy some more badges. What were the badges that I bought? I think it was the, um, this one, the Power Rush. Then I bought the Simplifier and the Unsimplifier. No, it was the Unsimplifier that I bought. And I think that was pretty much it. So I only got like 31 out of 85 badges. Which is alright, I guess, but I could use a lot more. Preferably ones that allow me to get more money. So at this point, money's a bit tight. In any case, let's check over here. Wait a minute. Aha! Wait, Coops? Coops! Thank you! Alright, so we're picking up a lot of star pieces. Right now, I only have three. I mean, that was to be expected. In fact, I think somewhere to the east, there's another spot I can get them. Wait a minute, Luigi's here, and he got like a brown blooper. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty nuts, so bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Okay. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Okay, this part I heard before. Let's hear this one. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once I thought I was done for, bro. <laughs> Coops is already asleep. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but, after, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo, even though he's brown. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight the Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that would make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic, 100-foot tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Oh, well, now we're going Capcom all of a sudden? It's always ahead for a weakness. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause on the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And bullseye! The white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Declare was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now, the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. <laughs> he likes the Strudel. So it set sails once again and came back to Rogueport, here at Rogueport, to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Nah, I don't want to hear it. What's your story? Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork at me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. Oh, that explains it. I'll never forgive this guy. 
I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! Wow, so Bluey here was white and then turned brown. He just went reverse Michael Jackson. Yes, I know he's dead, but come on. Let's not be uptight about it. It's not like I'm making fun of him in a negative light. I'm not making fun of him at all, I'm just using a comparison. Since I have three Shine Sprites, why don't we power up Coops? We can get Shell Shield. There we go, so now all three of my party members should be at super rank. Oh, okay, thanks. Alright, I believe there was another star piece hanging around. I think it was over here behind the house. Right in the cracks. Wait, there was a star piece over here too? No, I already got that. Wait. Hmm. I thought that'd be it over there. Um. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this wasn't the right spot. I don't think it'd be in a house. It would make no sense. I'll probably come back to this spot later. Maybe it's over here. No? Well, I'm not in a rush to get every single star piece right away. So you know you don't have to use those all comments and caps. Maybe it was over here. No, it couldn't be. There's not enough space for a full slot. However, I think I can head back just to take on another trouble. I might want to do that first. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go with Lala first. I'm going to save Puni Elder for later. The Pianta Parlor is now having its grand opening event! Whee! Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lala, the cute kitty boo. We're waiting on Rogueport's west side, so please come quickly, smooch. Heart. Alright, I'll do it right. I'll do it the only way. Even if it was wrong, I'd still get the quest completed. Or just not have it happen at all, but I digress. So, I believe I gotta head west, obviously. Let's check the news. x knots terrorizing Bogley Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? I don't know, let's see in the back. Graffiti corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him, sniff. Toadette, the animal lover. Aw, poor Toadette. Not like I care. So let's head for the Pianta Parlor. In fact, I gotta come here for the main part of the quest, too. Basically, I had to go this way. Oh. Coops, why do you do this? That's better. Uh, I believe it's you I gotta talk to. Hi there. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble? That is so super. Well, okay. Here's your special thing. Heh, <laughs> this thing. Hey, don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Well, fine, whatever. Enjoy the parlor. Play and win. Oh, it's all the trouble already. Why don't I try out this slot machine? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! oh I already talked to you. So where is it around here I'm supposed to go? Psst. Eh, blah, 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 blah. There's gotta be someone I can talk to in order to find things out. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you hold on to those nine piantas. The boss told me to look after this place. Eh, it doesn't like that. Yeah. Hmm, who 
would know where to go to get something to get to Glitzville. Because I was not the train. Oh, I think I got a little bit of desync problem. Be right back. Okay, I'm back in business, so now I figured out where you're supposed to go to find Don Pianta. But first... Now there should be a star piece around here as well. Oh, there it is. Thankfully, Co Coops is not in the way. Alright, in order to find Don Pianta, you gotta go see Ishnail of the Robos. And then for 64 coins, he will tell you that you need to go to Westside Goods to buy a Dried Shroom and a Dizzy Dial in that order. Then you also have to say yellow. But anyways, I have a little bit too much space. Or too much stuff in my inventory. I need to make space. Well, Dizzy Dial, which I already have. And we'll go with the Power Punch. Alright, so now I gotta buy stuff. I gotta start with the Dried Shroom. I can get the Levy Shroom for another trouble later, but first, let's get the Dizzy Dial. You've saved up enough shop points, sugar. Know what you've earned? This mushroom. Oh, it looks like you can't carry anything else, you poor baby. Come back after you use seller store an item, okay? Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister. What color is your mustache? Even if it's really black, just say yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Yes, uh, good for me. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh, yeah, I will. I'll do with you later. Okay, is there anything over here in particular? No. And I checked out a guide. Apparently, there was nothing around that crack near the Trouble House. Well, no, Star Pieces, at least. Hey! This is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. I do now. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. Okay. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't your jelly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me, that's funny. You stand up comedian? No? You ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube! You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just come to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it! What's that? You went out some broad what what got herself kidnapped? And the rescue did steam. You are collecting the crystal stars? I just waved my left hand and that's exactly what it means. Duh, crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the angst treasure? Benny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this snuggle here believes in fairy tales. Um, uh, excuse me, but uh that's not true. The treasure is real. Honest. Everybody, just shut it! I don't care if the treasure's real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Okay. Sure. We can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. But it's something you want, so it's gotta be something. See, the thing is... My own daughter in love with one of my young associates. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie. And bring them both here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I should settle this matter quickly. 
and what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know none but this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Benny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause your logs ain't can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Uh, no, boss. What do you say goes, boss? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, you'll like my turn terrible. Um, okay. Why do they sound so Italian? Oh, wait. Maybe I should just go look for the Piantas. Francesca and Frankie are very easy to distinguish. So they'll stick out like a sore thumb. But first, I might want to come down here and take a look around. This might be a good time to get some more star pieces. Actually, I can find one around here. Not down in this particular room with Spanias. But I'm talking about here in the town. Or the underground town, so to speak. Oh, it's not over here. I gotta go... Whoa, whoa. Actually... This could be a prime opportunity to test out that clock out. So why don't we do just that? Okay, it immobilizes all peer enemies for a short period of time. You gotta press A, B, or X over the enemy, tap that button. Alright, I can do that. Ah, oh, damn, that... That actually did not work out for me at all. And I can't even block in this time. I'll definitely gotta try that again in my own time, because I've been just screwing up. But in any case, let's just kill him now. They pay for my mistake. Nice. Well, unlike Paper Mario 1, if you find enemies that don't give you any star points at all, if you finish the battle, you'll still get star points. Wait a minute, I never checked over here. Well, I actually can now. Hello! But it's not gonna take me over to this town that I was in before. This actually takes me to the Pit of 100 Trials. This is just a shortcut. I don't want to go through here. I went to the wrong spot. This just takes me back to the Thousand Year Door. But I guess if I wanted to go to the Pit of Hundred Trials right away, and believe it or not, a couple troubles in this game require you to go to the Pit of Hundred Trials. Thankfully not to finish, but to at least get some distance. Because some lowly fellas tried to attempt the Pit of Hundred Trials, and obviously they don't do a damn good job of it at all. Therefore, it's up to me to go look for him. It's too bad that shortcut was one way. I can't really jump that high to get back up the pipe. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just a minor detour. Just don't get your panties in a bunch over it. Besides, I might find those two piantas on the way. If they're not here in the square, they could be over at the docks. Let me zoom out a bit so I can get a better look. Nope, they're probably by the docks. You know what, I'll just go take a look there first. And then I'll go hunt for that star piece in the lower row court area. Could not have gone far. Oh, there they are! Hey, back off, you creep! You want something? Or are you just like signing up to people? 
What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Oh, Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds out now... Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming in any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what it'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. So, once they get married, then of course it's not going to work. Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Uh, sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. I lied. I'm going to tell him everything. Let's go. Man, she seems like quite a meddler. Like, he wants to do things the right way, but she wants to keep meddling at him. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. I wholeheartedly agree, bitch. Let's go. Alright, can I buy something from you? You better have something good. Actually, I can't really buy anything from you. Anything that I want. I'm low on funds, man. It's not good. I need to start stealing my sperm. Let's go see Don first, and then I'll go look for that star piece. Good to know this way is unlocked for the rest of the game. Oh, Lucas, come back! The preferable mustache! You gonna brighten my mood? So give, what you got? You know what the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey! You two Nimrods! The kids are at the harbor! Now go get them! Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss! Forgive me, boss! I I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie! So, back you come. Head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. I'll to blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet! Both of you! Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you look like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? You know, he could have been your actual son-in-law. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shrimp on my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go! Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad, no. Wait, I mean, boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. 
Enough already. Just go. Go. <laughs> Francesca, seeing you just happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turn out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. And thank you. Well, that was, uh, very awkward. You still here? Huh. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yay, blimp ticket! Who knew? The daughter's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. I have a feeling we might see him again later. But first, let's head back to the lower rogue port so I can get that star piece. I think there's a few more star pieces I can find too over in the Petal Meadows area. One in Hooktail Castle as well. My, my. We've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. No, it ain't. Not yet, at least. You got mail. Uh, what now? Right, important things. Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seems so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So, where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past that front door. Ha ha ha! From Coopley. Aww, that's so cute of him and so nice. Oh well, sadly you cannot delete me at mail. And again, what's the point of doing so? Wait. Ah, damn it! I didn't want to do a first strike there. That's gonna hurt either way. And look at them, they all just left. How disrespectful. Uh, I can't really use the body slam. I don't really care about the battles. Oh, 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 I didn't do it. But I got two of them to go away. Yeah! That battle ended quickly. Power block? No, I don't really want it. You'd think there'd be something important over there with that X. And I'm pretty sure it is. But I can't really do much with it yet. So I'll come back to it later. Oh, wait, wait. I, I think I know where I need to go now. How to get back to that town. I forgot. Of course. You have to stay on the high ground. Duh. Look, I never expected me to do everything 100% flawless. And some people actually do get in a panic if I even make one mistake. But I mean, if we all get in a panic over one mistake, then LP is just not going to be fun, okay? That's just my public service announcement. Anyways, I believe it was around here on Herb Tease. Things around this spot. Like this way? Oh, fur is just too big, so she's really in the way. Hey, hey! Come on! I was right there! Oh, right, I should have moved down a little bit. Or maybe I'm just supposed to go on the lower ground. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. But in any case, it should not be hard to find. But I know there's definitely one in this spot. Maybe here? Maybe I'll go south a little ways. I don't think I should have to. This may not be the right spot, but I know it's in front of a house. It's not actually in a house. Hmm. 
Why do I keep struggling at this stuff? Let me try on here one more time. Like I said, it was around herb teas. Maybe this is not even the right spot at all. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's actually... Ah, it was in the building! I keep thinking they're always out of the building. They're never in. Hey man, we all make mistakes. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, I'll just do some more troubles, find some more star pieces, and when I get all this stuff out of the way, I can finally go to Glitzville. Goodbye, everyone.